Screen Printers, this is Luke from Ryan. Now today we're going to be talking about how to correctly prep your white ink. Now when using Plastisol, the number one color that we get a lot of questions about here at Ryan is going to be the white ink. Why is that? It's because it's got a lot of pigments in it. The goal for white is so that it can become a barrier to where you can build other colors on top of it. As screen printers, we want to make sure that this barrier or the white that we're printing directly onto the shirt is nice, crisp, clean, and easy to print as well. A couple of tricks. Number one, stir it. And I say that because you want to stir it more than what you're used to. Again, because that white is so thick and there's so many of those little particles in there, we really got to stir it up. Bringing the internal temperature of that ink is going to help out a lot. You can put it on your dryer for a little bit, but I, I try not to, to recommend that too much because if you forget it, it'll actually start curing on itself. Now, another thing that you can do is use curable reducer. What is curable reducer? Well, what it does is it's kind of like a thinner, but specifically for Plastisol ink. And it's able to be cured by lifting that temperature up. So what's nice is that you can take it and put it in between 5 to 10% of your weight of the ink, and then you'll be able to have a really nice thinned out look. Now, I recommend around 8%. You can kind of eyeball it a little bit, but depending on what kind of a look you're going for, you might even put a little bit more. So let's do a quick demo. So I'm going to take some of my white ink here. And as you see, when I, when I bring it out, it's already kind of creamy. It's still a little thick. I've been stirring it for a little bit here. We'll get some in there. Let's get a little bit more, actually. And even one last nice big ink. There we go. That'll be enough to work with here. So I've got my white in here. And now, as you can see, this cure will reduce it, it's, it's very thin. You can think of it as a thinner for your Plastisol ink. Now you can use it on multiple colors, not just white, but I personally use it the most on my white ink. So I'm going to bring a little bit in here. I'm just going to eyeball that. Always keep napkins and towels around here. Keep it all kind of clean. Off of that. And then so now you see it, and as we mix it in, it's going to start loosening up that ink. It's going to make it a lot creamier for us. It's going to make it easier to print, and especially when we're going on high meshes so that we can have a really nice print, it'll be a lot better. So you can see that it's already kind of loosening up there for us. I might actually add just a little bit more. Okay, stir that back up. There we go. You'll feel a pretty distinct difference when you're putting this in. Now, a lot of people ask, can you put too much reducer? Of course you can. It's actually going to start taking away the pigment of the ink. Now, when you get above that 10%, closer to 15, you're going to start seeing a little bit of that. What that equates to is you're going to be doing more printing, a little bit more print flash print to get more of that white ink down. So as you see, that's where we want it. Nice and stirred up easy. It's not really killing my arm anymore to stir it up. When I go to put it into the screen, it's actually going to go through nice and, nice and easy for us. So I'm actually going to take this over to the press here. We're going to print a shirt real quick and kind of show you what we're looking for when we reduce it. So as you see, when I start to pour this into the screen, it's going to come out really nice and easy for me. Just kind of flows right out of that tub. Set this off to the side. And then when I go to spread it, it's just nice and simple. This goes real easy, almost like butter, in all honesty. That way I don't have to work really hard to try to get this spread into the screen correctly. So now we'll pull the shirt over here, lock it into place. And you'll notice that I'm barely having to pull back to get a really nice flood there. Okay, and I'm going to push just nice and easy. Lift up. Got a pretty good print right there. So when you're trying to figure out a way to make the white ink be a little bit more friendly to yourself, curable reducer is definitely the answer. Adding 5 to 10% to that white ink is going to help you out a lot. Now make sure that you still do stir it up nice and good before you start using it. But as a good handy tool, curable reducer should be the first thing that you're grabbing off the shelf to put into that white ink. My name's Luke. Thank you for watching.